Hello and welcome to another episode of Career Strategies. My name is Rodney Hughes, Mr. 100%. And in today's video, we're going to talk about this. Don't be a brown noser. Okay? Don't be a brown noser. Okay? Let me tell you something. You don't have to brown nose to get ahead in your career. Okay? You don't have to. Okay? Some people act as if you have to go around being a brown noser in order to advance in your career. And I'm here to tell you that's actually the worst way for you to actually advance in your career. Okay. And I'm going to tell you why in this video. All right. Today's video is being brought to you by interview prep university. It is a free virtual training platform. It's 100% free and it's going to teach you how to exponentially improve your job interview skills. Okay. So it doesn't matter whether you're new to the workforce or whether you're a seasoned veteran. Um, this platform is going to teach you very specific things you can do in order to have a competitive advantage when you're going through the job interview process. And again, the best part is it is free. Okay. So if you'd like to get free access to this platform, go to www.interviewprepuniversity.com. Again, that's www.interviewprepuniversity.com, or you could just click the link beneath this video. All right. So again, don't be a brown noser. Okay. <laughs> Now, first, let's let's talk about what a brown noser is, okay? A brown noser is someone who goes around essentially kissing ass all day, okay? And um, I don't think that that is the best way for you to go about your career, okay? There are some people that like that they just believe in brown nosing, okay? And the thing, the reason why I say that I don't think it's a good idea for you to be that way is because it actually puts you in a weak position, okay? Because if you're getting ahead, let's say, the, and here's the thing, here's the crazy part about it. Some people actually do advance a little bit in their career by way of doing this, right? So for people who have advanced by doing this, they may not necessarily agree with this particular video, okay? But the reality is, is that when you're brown nosing, okay? You're going around going, mwah, 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 yes, boss, yes, boss, yes, boss. Okay. When you're doing that and you're essentially a yes man or a yes woman, what, what you're doing is you're putting yourself in a very weak position. Okay. Because yes, in that moment, people love it when people agree with, uh, with, 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 with them. Right. So leaders love when there's people that actually buy into what it is that they're talking about. Right. But the people who are most valued, valuable to an organization are the ones that are willing to challenge a bad idea. Okay. Here's the reality. I don't care how smart you are as an individual, right? It doesn't really matter what your IQ is or any of that. It doesn't matter what your previous track record was. None of that matters. At the end of the day, regardless of how smart you are, there will be times when you will entertain bad ideas. Okay. And this is where brown nosers come up short right? Because if you get in the habit of being a brown noser, then when those times come where uh, the decision maker is going down the path of making a wrong decision, and you know, as the brown noser, that this person is going down the path of making a wrong decision, you're going to likely stick to brown nosing, which is what you know how to do best, okay? And if that's what you know how to do best, then Essentially, you're just a yes man, right? Or yes woman. And so therefore, the organization can't advance forward. And here's the thing. If you know that it's potentially a bad idea and you don't say anything about it, then you're not truly as valuable to the organization as that person may think, okay? And so when you look at most organizations and you look at most leaders, right? And, and I, I guess this, this message is more so for people who want upward mobility, Look, if you're happy in, in, in the role that you're in and you're a brown noser, I, there, there's nothing wrong with it, right? Be happy. If that's what, what makes you feel comfortable, then do that, right? But if your goal is to advance in your career, to be able to take on more responsibility, to be able to make a broader impact and be able to earn more money in your career, um, the worst possible way for you to do that is to be a brown noser, okay? Absolute worst way to do it. So my advice is if you're interested in upward mobility, don't be a brown noser. Okay. 
focus on the other hand on trying to solve as many problems as you can that is what you need to be doing right see because if you're a person who prioritizes solving a problem right then when that scenario comes up where you know a decision maker is potentially going down the wrong path guess what you'll do you'll step up and you'll say hey we might want to reconsider this and here's why right and then you explain why you think this is potentially a bad decision and even if that decision maker doesn't go with what you're suggesting you have immediately increased your value within that organization because every leader appreciates someone who has the the the, the best interest of the company in mind you understand because if you the more problems that you help that company solve, the better the company does, right? And the better that that leader ends up, in, ends up looking. You understand? And that's why you can't be a brown noser, okay? So again, this message is for those out there that want to have upward, want to experience upward mobility, want to advance in your career. Do not be a brown noser, okay? Don't go putting your, your nose all up other people's butt. OK, because <laughs> it's not going to work out in your favor. I, I assure you. Right. I've actually heard managers like talk bad about people who were brown nosers. I've actually heard this before, like 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 in real life, like like that person thought that they were actually in good favor with this particular manager. I'm not going to listen. I'm not going to say the names just to protect you know, the, the confidentiality or, or the privacy here, but I've been around other people where I've heard a manager, a high, a high level manager talk bad about someone who was a brown noser. Okay. There was always, and, 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 and they actually didn't like it. They were like, man, I wish, I wish this person would just leave me alone. Okay. And just do their job. Okay. This is what they, this is what they were saying. Okay. And so I just want you to understand that again, if you're interested in upward mobility, I'm going to say it until I'm blue in the face. <laughs> okay. If you're interested in upward mobility, this is just not the way to, to build respect. Because if you want upward mobility, you, the best way to attain upward mobility is through respect. You understand? By getting things done and by gaining respect. Because even if you're able to brown nose your way into a leadership position, you'll never succeed. You know why? because you're not a leader <laughs> you understand you're a brown noser that got an opportunity to lead okay that's the truth <laughs> you understand and then when you get in a leadership position you're only used to brown nosing you ain't used to getting stuff done you're not used to solving problems being in difficult situations and getting things done okay so that's what i want you to focus on right Forget trying to kiss up the people. Listen, if, if somebody's going to respect you, let them respect you because of this work. Let them respect you because you're putting in the work every single day. You're getting things done and you're solving problems. Okay? Because then when you maneuver into a, 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 a broader impact role, a, a management role, okay, then you'll be in a position to really get things done and really get active. Okay? So I'm going to say it one more time. Don't be a brown noser. <laughs> Listen, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like the video, uh, feel free to comment on this video. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button in the bottom right corner of this video. And, uh, you know, join the family. <laughs> okay. And make sure you hit that bell uh, so that every time I drop some new content, you'll be notified. All right. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.